just a little too tanner. As we were just talking, mm -hmm. think weather can happen. It could be windy out. How, with, with the veils that is here, is it? How hard is it to? If it's windy and it flies out. Is it tough to put it back in? And is there a certain way you should put the veil on? Well, I think always having somebody that sort of knows how to do it is your first line of defense. Sure. You know, because God forbid, um, there are veil weights. That's they look like little earrings. So like if you're getting married on the beach and you have like a light you know, veil that could fly up if it's breezy day. You put these little weights in there and oh, it keeps the cool. veil down. A lot of brides don't know about that, but yeah. that's a really great... That's a really good tip. That's a good tip, <laughs> yeah. Um, but I always leave my clients with, you know, a little rubber band of several bobby pins and hairpins um, and having hairspray, you know, you buy the hairspray you like or if you ask your stylist to bring you some for that day. Um, that way, if somebody does take the veil out or it's, you know, a piece goes askew to have something to be able to fix it yourself or have one of your girls just sort of sure. fix it. Again, these are things you might not think about, yeah. which again, somebody who's been in the industry for a while and they know what they're doing, they're going to have, I mean, they have these, you know, emergency kits and that mm -hmm. can have the bobby pins, the hairspray, the little weights. I think that's really cool yeah. and clever. Yeah, you get little crystals or something that sort of matches your dress and then they just kind of, they go right through the tool and it just kind of lightly holds the veil down so that if it is breezy, it just stays in place. Having your own lip gloss that you bring with you um, is great because you're, you're kissing, sure. kiss the bride, yeah. you know, kiss the groom, whatever. Um, you're saying hello to people, you're kissing their cheeks, whatever it is. You're eating, you're drinking, you want to have something that you can reapply throughout the night. You're using your lips a lot throughout the day. Yes, you are using your lips. You're chatting, you're talking to people. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're drinking your champagne, sure. whatever it might be. <laughs> this is why things cost what they do too. I know some people are like, well, I'm on a budget. Everybody's always on a budget, which mm -hmm. is great. You try to work with them, but these are the reasons why you charge what you charge because you're more than just you know, a hairstylist, you're an artist, you're, you're, you're helping them through the day, mm -hmm. you're, you have the emergency stuff, I'm making you feel yep. at ease. Yes. Um, and so this is all, all why. Plus, you know, it's, it's hair and makeup and I understand, you know, we, we definitely get the, the questions about discounts and, and that. Sure. But, you know, this is the way that you're going to look in your photos for the rest of your life. You don't mess this one up. <laughs> yeah, so you know, you want to make sure that you have exactly what you want and that you look exactly how you want to look because if you had this vision of how you were going to look for your entire life or, you know, as long as you were planning your wedding and then, you know, cousin Susie does your hair and she gives you, you know, like tendrils or something that, you know, wasn't really what you were What are tendrils? What you were thinking what are, of. What are tendrils? Um, they're like curls that sort of come out of the, the side here, which you know, that sort of like loose, tousled, beachy look, it, you know, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. But if it's if it's something like, you know, circa 1990, um, you know, four tendrils, yeah, right, prom, right. <laughs> gotcha. um, uh, you know, yeah, that I might understand. not be exactly what you were envisioning. And so, you know, having somebody that understands the difference between loose, beachy waves and, and hair, you know, sort of just unkempt and, and sexy. And of course you have photos that like you could, right. they might say, hey, do you have a portfolio, which is cool to ask, right? Absolutely. We are on all social media outlets. We have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. In this day and age, you know, if you are booking someone or hiring someone, ask them for their handles because you'll be able to see all the work that they've done and, and that they pride themselves on because, you know, we put it out there all the time and we're constantly, you know, tagging ourselves and tagging the other pros that we work with and, and it's a really great way to to find everything that you need. Yeah, here's a question. How am I supposed to come to the studio dressed? Like, do I do I shower? Do I wash my hair? Do what? What? How do I come here? What do I? What do you need from me? Well, a lot of brides love to give their bridesmaids robes. Um, a really cool trend that I've been seeing recently is men's dress shirts, like maybe little monograms, or maybe the bridesmaids all wear pink and the bride wears white. Really cute because having a button down is awesome because if you get your hair done, obviously you don't want to be taking a shirt off over your head, over <laughs> your makeup, over your updo. It just could destroy the whole thing. Sure. So having something you can unbutton or unzipper is great. Um, as far as the hair goes, I personally love One Day Dirty. If you're getting an updo, it gives it a little bit of texture. Um, it's not too um, silky or shiny. So One Day Dirty is great. Um, I love dry shampoo though, I love which dry is shampoo. which is awesome, and it helps like give a little texture to the hair. 
I really um, don't have any idea how to use it. I mean, it's not that complicated. Well, well we have it, um, but sometimes, you know, we say one day dirty, sometimes, you know, like we have the dry shampoo because we get bridesmaids that don't understand the difference between one day dirty and five days dirty. <laughs> We said not to wash our hair for a month. And then, you know, you hit that hair with an iron and that's just... Hair falls out. No, it just, it, it might have a certain odor to it. <laughs> oh, yes. Mm, have you had an experience with that? Oh, we have, yes. Yeah? Absolutely. Yeah.